Content warning, this story contains descriptions of murder, assault, and sexual violence. Khadija Horton slash Pexels The sun has set on another scorching day in Albuquerque, and here in the high desert, the temperature is dropping fast. Dilia Asterisk walks up to a gray minivan parked in an otherwise vacant lot, where volunteers have set out bins of free clothing and other essentials, tampons, condoms, cleansing wipes. Currently unhoused, Dilia is desperate for warm layers. City police raised her campsite that morning, she says, leaving her with only the shorts and crop top she's wearing. And yet, even amid this hardship, Dilia has arrived with something to share, an urgent safety warning for the girls in the neighborhood. Khadija Horton slash Pexels, as someone hands her a cozy sweater and hygiene kit, Dilia turns towards Cynthia Vigil Jaramillo, the head organizer of tonight's outreach, and launches into a harrowing story. A few weeks ago, Dilia was on nearby Central Avenue doing dates, a common term for selling sex, when a.m. She and the man negotiated the terms of their encounter, and Dilia climbed in beside him. Except it was a trap, she had barely settled into the passenger seat when the man pulled out a gun and demanded her cash. He seemed nervous, she says, maybe a first-time assailant. Dilia handed over the 72 cents she had in her pocket and was able to escape without further harm. Tonight, though, she wants everyone to know, the red truck is back, cruising the neighborhood again. The man behind the wheel might be bolder now, more dangerous. His next victim might not get away. Jaramillo listens closely, mentally compiling the details of Dilia's account, white man, brown hair, 30-something. Later on, after she and the other volunteers pack up the van, Jaramillo will write up a full incident report, not for the police, but for the bad guy list. It's scrappy and low-tech, just a photocopied sheet of paper filled with crowdsourced reports like Dilia's. Jaramillo produces the bad guy list through Street Safe New Mexico, a guerrilla nonprofit she co-founded in 2010 when a series of murders in this community, her community, went unsolved. Part Neighborhood Watch, part Resource Hub, Street Safe exists to empower sex workers and other people on the street, anyone living at the intersection of criminalization, social stigma, and an ever-present possibility of violence. The bad guy list has since emerged as a primary index of that danger, a running bulletin of men's brutality against an off-targeted cohort, mostly women. It comes out every week, and Street Safe small volunteer crew passes it out by hand. In addition to Dilia's account, the next installment will include alerts about an older bald man who tried to yank a woman into his Nissan, after following her down the street as well as a violent serial rapist with dark, slicked back hair who broke a woman's nose. Another entry describes a man with feathered blonde hair, driving a Hyundai, who lunged for a weapon as he steered. His victim fled the car while it was still in motion. Khadija Horton slash Pexels this spring and summer, I embedded with Street Safe's volunteers during a series of outreach sessions to witness this model of harm reduction in action, reports coming in, copies going out. The accounts are shattering, in person and on the page. At the same time, the bad guy list reflects a gesture of profound community caring, the survivor in each case speaking out so that others might be spared. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.